called Shamir and in this demonstration I'm just gonna provide you how you can change the color of your Jenkins console from black to different variation of color uh, so in this demonstrations in the past some of the demonstrations I have provided the information about how you can install Jenkins and how the Jenkins can act as a CI CD tool uh, to building your continuous integration uh, pipelines and continuous de development or continuous deployments in a, in any of your cloud providers such as AWS, Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure. So in the last couple of videos I have installed this Jenkins behind inside the AWS cloud and I have put it behind the application load balancer. So I will highly recommend if you're really interested in knowing how to secure your Jenkins behind a uh, a load balancer and just put it under some your DNS uh, domain name such as in my case is under the order of shermio.com so and uh, how you can put your ACM which is the uh, Amazon certificate manager to secure uh, the so that your connection is completely secure and the certificate is valid for yourself and so in this demo uh, video I'm just gonna um, go very shortly about how you can change the color and the reason of changing the color is sometimes when you build so many times and using a Jenkins server you like to have some bright colors on it because by default when you install Jenkins it comes with a dull black color uh, dull in the sense like it's completely black and white screen which sometimes people seems like they are not very uh, familiar and they don't like like to be working on it it feels very boring it's not very you know like it's a uh, intuitive or you can say it's very attractive or appealing towards the end customer or the client so what i'm gonna do is like i'm just gonna go so currently i log in as a user called charmio in my jenkins.charmio um, jenkins server and i'm currently going to the manage jenkins and i'm gonna go for the plugins so in the plugin section in the plugin manager there is quite a lot of different uh, plugins available from the marketplace which you can download to change the theme of your change the color of your Jenkins console so in this demonstration I'm just gonna point it and using the theme called material theme and you can also see about which the plugin is actually last released like simple theme is released one month two days ago theme manager four months and some of them is when like a uh, three years which is making sense like they are not actively monitor or regularly patching with the new security vulnerabilities if it contain anything so in this demonstration i'm going to go for the material plugin and the material plugin and if you like to know about like any documentation or what these themes or the plugins will actually provide you can just click on the right button and open in a link in a new tab and it will lead you to the plugins.jenkins.io website where it can provide you the documentation as well as the their past releases histories any issues going on every information from the as a customer point of view if you like to know or the client point of view if you like to understand for that par particular plugin you can actually have a look so what i'm going to do now like i have clicked that plugin which i'm going to install and that plugin will just going to give me some uh, cool already in inbuilt themes which can gives me some more uh, brighter color on my Jenkins so now you have an option to install without restart which means like it will just gonna install but the changes will not gonna reflect until you're gonna restart your Jenkins or you can just download now and install after restart so it depends upon like if you are using Jenkins server as your main source of building a CI/CD pipeline so you make sure like none of your any of the deployment or the build jobs are running at the time when you're doing just changes in your Jenkins server so currently this is a just a proof of concept or you can say it's a demonstration server so I don't have to worry about like in terms of anything like can cause any of my Jenkins jobs to be get down or because if they are running on some pipeline on a cron trigger or something so I'm just gonna do it like right now download now and install after restart so now when I clicked on these only deploying the installing the material theme it by installed by default it also install the theme manager with it so just be very careful it if you any time in the future you decided okay you don't like to run this material theme plugin anymore you have to uninstall the theme manager otherwise it start conflicting with your man uh, your jenkins configurations inside the config.xml as well as in your jenkins config configuration inside your wherever you install it under the warlib jenkins folder so just be very careful about like by default it's installed the theme manager as a subset in it and now 
as it mentions like the download has been successfully completed and we will just have to activate during the next boot so now you have the choice either you can just go and go to your dashboard and make sure your old jobs are not running or you can just restart the jenkins when there is no jobs are running so we're just going to click on the safer side options since in my case there is no job is running at the moment so i just clicked on that option and jenkins straight away uh gonna update and install that plugin which is we already downloaded it's now just installing so that it and the browser will automatically reload it for us once the browser is gonna reload it we will just gonna firstly go to the plugin manager under the manage jenkins just to first see does that plugin has been successfully installed and is enabled and once it's enabled then we can actually just go and uh, make some changes to our console so let's just sign in back again to the Jenkins now if I just go to the manage Jenkins and if I go to the manage plugin under the manage plugin we will gonna go to the third tab which is called install all the plugins from the plugin manager and then we will actually just gonna point it and see does that plugin which is the material theme is actually install it, installed or not so we'll just go to the installed section tab and search for theme and we can see the material theme is installed and the theme manager is installed but it's not enabled the reason is not enabled is because I have before making this video I have actually disabled it so it might be uh, picking up the previous cache data of the Jenkins that I have installed that uh, material theme in the past and I have disabled it that's why it not enable it by default so what I'm gonna do is just gonna restart up once again so that it's actually enabled as well and once it's enabled after restarting of this Jenkins server again and then we'll just gonna see and confirm if the Jenkins uh, the plugin is completely installed and as well as enable then we can just go to the configuration system and try to change the console so that it looks more you know like attractive and we can see how the color changes looks on the Jenkins so it might depending upon your Jenkins server and on what sort of instance you're running on it might takes a little bit more time for you to get restart don't worry but if you see like if your Jenkins instance is not restarting it just stuck in a pending state then you may have to look for the logs as well as you look for the so you can see right now it's uh, changed the color of my Jenkins by itself the reason why it changed uh, because I can see like it's picked up the changes from uh, my previous uh, plugin changes which I made so what I'm gonna do is like a you might not gonna see the orange color in your case it might you still gonna see the default black color so what we're going to do first let's go to the install section and click on the theme and we can see now the plugin is enabled and I as I mentioned it when you install the material theme plugin it's installed the subset plugin which is the theme manager for you so make sure you never disable or uh, try to d uninstall this plugin because this plugin if you install it will just gonna uh, mismatch the configuration of your material theme and it's just start complaining on the Jenkins server so since now the Jenkins uh, this material theme plugin has been installed completely fine and successfully what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the dashboard and go back to the ma manage Jenkins section under the manage section uh, manage Jenkins section we will gonna go to the configure system inside the configure system it contains the all the global settings and the path for the Jenkins from the console level and we will gonna scroll down and we will see there is the built-in themes which is provided by of the from the Jenkins from this material theme plugin so we can see like they have different colors uh, screenshots as they provided like red indigo gray light blue etc so we can just if you like to change the color for example if I like to change color and you can see like how quickly it's changing the colors that's the beauty of this Jenkins plugin which I like the material theme because there's quite good it's very flexible it's very compatible with every version of the Jenkins you're running for example I'm running the version I think 2.36.4 so it's very compatible it's not gonna cause any issue with any of your existing plugins configurations or in your jobs or anything so for example if I'm just saving the material indigo 
once you selected whatever the theme you were interested in uh, wanted to select then you just select on that theme and just click on apply and then save the settings and these settings are applied on global level you can also like if you like if you have a bunch of users and you want to give the user as a customization that every user can change the color according to what they like you can actually see like a uh, by default it's allowed and you can actually change this so that do not allow users to select a different theme once you select this option then no users can change individual themes for themselves since the by default this section is an uh, disable this options which means is any users when they go to their user detail so currently i'm on my user detail and if i click on the configure i will able to change the detail now if i'm changing to red then this change is only gonna be applicable to me you can put the setting as a global level such as the indigo so by default any new user who gonna join jenkins.sharmio.com as a jenkins server as a user they will gonna see indigo but since I'm logged in as an admin user, but I'm just changing the whole configuration for myself into red or yellow, whichever they like. So that's it for this video. Uh, and, and the main purpose of this video, just to show about changing the Jenkins color itself to make it more dynamically attractive and more appealing towards the end audience or towards your customers or towards your devs, dev teams who's actually going to use the Jenkins. And in the coming video, I'm just going to create some CI/CD pipeline on the Jenkins and how you can actually uh, connect to your EKS cluster or your Kubernetes cluster and how you can deploy stuff. That's it for this video. Thank you for giving me all this positive feedback and the comments I'm receiving in my channel called Shermio. And I'm really uh, surprised and I'm really thankful for every comments I'm receiving these days. I'm trying to coming pushing myself to making videos more and more. If you can interest in knowing any topic in AWS or in GCP, I'd love to provide more in-depth knowledge, whether it's on basis on infrastructure as a code or as a click ops basis i'm happy to provide more information from scratch how to build the whole devops ci cd life cycle and how you can following some best practices or security best practices while deploying stuff in any of the cloud environment that's it for this video thank you so much for watching have a great weekend